all know about the Warden from Minecraft, and we also all know about the legendary Ender Dragon. But what if we took these two mobs and combined them into one? We would get the Skulk Dragon, a brand new mob that I have actually added into Minecraft. And now I'm going to be turning into that Skulk Dragon to see if I can survive 100 days in game. All while three of my friends play as Dragon Hunters who will do anything to stop me. Will my Skulk powers be enough to survive, or will the Dragon Hunters trap me with their giant crossbows? On day one, I spawned in as a baby Skulk Dragon. Wait, why do I have no eyes? Oh well. Actually, that kind of makes sense since I'm a Skulk Dragon and everything from the deep dark uses their ears instead of their eyes. Anyway, I have much bigger problems to deal with right now than my eyeballs because right in front of me are three dragon hunters who are trying to stop me from getting to day 100. And see as I'm a dragon that literally can't fly, only has five hearts of HP, and I can't even use my dragon breath. And that's because all of it has to be unlocked in my skulk dragon upgrade menu where I can gain the ability to fly or even get my flaming skulk breath. But we'll worry about that later because first things first, we have to leave spawn and the second we do, these guys are gonna attack us. Okay, so there's a waterfall literally right below spawn if i can make the jump to that waterfall that's where we're gonna go but before we do we're gonna need a weapon from our upgrade menu to survive so let's get our first combat upgrade the scaly shredder which we can get just by killing five chickens with a sword mining five coal ore and riding in a chest boat okay here we go let's go for that waterfall in three two one go we made it we made it we made it yes we're in the waterfall after are they gonna jump down too Oh, whoa! They have gliders. Never mind. Oh, my God. Oh, God. They're literally gliding down on top of me. Quick, go this way. Oh, my goodness. Get back here. Oh, there's a village right here. Right at the top of the hill, there's a village. We need to get up there. Oh, we need to keep getting high ground so their crossbows can't hit us. Oh, they're going to... Oh, that almost... Oh, they're right on my tail. I got an idea. I'm not getting very good sight lines, guys. Leap. Okay, I leaped across. Go up here. Oh, being shot at. Okay, go into the village. Go into the village. Go into the village. Let's get in this building right here. He's somewhere in the village, Break this guys. chest. I'm up. Nice. I hear him around me. Get over here, dragon. We got a job to do. Around the farm. Uh, I'm gonna check inside. Goodness, go this way, go this way. Go oh, this he's way. over here. Oh, God. Oh, outside. Grab a log quick, grab a log quick. Oh, we got a log. Go this way. Oh. Hey, what's up, dragon? Oh, God. This way, go. Oh, in here. Hey. Quick, grab this log. We need to grab another log. Get we need back to get here, dragon. Up here, grab this log. Ow. He's on Ow. me. This way, this way, this way. Okay, we got three logs. Uh, he's on the outskirts over here. Oh, he's on me. He's by me in this okay. house. Oh, he's juking. He's not in he's here either. Right by the farm? house jump hide down here i don't think they saw that quickly make the logs into planks you see a villager? let's make a crafting table check the house now let's make ourselves a boat and combine it with a chest and now we have a chest boat while we're here let's also go ahead and let's make some sticks let's make ourselves a wooden sword and a wooden pickaxe there we go. He's okay. down here. He's down here. I've trained my whole life to Whoa. fight dragons. Go, 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 go. We gotta go. They're on us. They're literally on us. I'm gliding down. Luckily, as a baby dragon, we eat food faster. That's gonna be a huge help, but oh, they're gliding on top of me. You're not getting away. We need to ride in this chest boat to get some distance. And if we bump into chickens or anything, we're definitely gonna kill them on the way. But for now, let's just get away from these guys for a sec. I have an idea. I have an idea. We have some distance right now. We're doing okay. Here's a little river. Here's a little river. Let's get our chest boat in here and finish our first quest. Put down the chest boat. Get in. We're in with the chest boat. Nice. Where'd you get that? Okay, now we just have to find some chickens. Oh, they're already on us. Go up here. Go up here. Go up here. Go up here. We just need to find chickens. Chickens, where are you? He's up this hill. He's up this hill. I literally see a chicken. I literally see a chicken up here. We need to kill kill five of these things. Quick. Okay, here we go. Let's kill it. Here's one. That's one. Two. Three. A lot of arrows. I have four. to get right up on him. One more. One more. One more. Nice. We got it. Five. Get over there's here. one behind me. One behind me. One behind me. Oh, there's two in front of me. Okay, oh, I have an idea. Him. We got the five kills we needed. Get by this guy right here. We'll be good. Nice. This way. Stay on the hill. Don't take much damage. Go, 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 go. Uh, I, I'm gonna glide. We just need to mine five coal ore now. Let's hop in this lake again. Let's hop in the lake again. Ready? Go, 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 go. Nice. Let's go. Okay. There's literally a cave right up here next to the mountain where the village was. There we go. Here's the cave. Okay, hop out. Eat some food real quick. We have definitely have a good lead here. We have a good lead here. Let's just get into this cave and quickly find some coal. That's all we need to do. Get back here, dragon. <laughs> this cave was a dud. This cave was a dud. He's in here somewhere. Hey. Oh, oh my go goodness. this way. Go this way. They go this way. Oh, what? Wait, what? how do you get past me? In here. A water cave. A water cave. Go. Oh, that was close. This is my last arrow. Wait to use it. Okay, let's dig in this wall here. They're gonna think we're gone. Oh, or not. I see you. Uh, <laughs> oh, we're in trouble. You took my arrow. This way, this way, this way, this way. Oh, we're in trouble here. We're definitely in a pickle. Oh. I'm gonna see if I can like swim jump my way in. I can't because I have no hunger. Oh. I gotta bail, guys. We haven't beat. Have we no haven't beat. No, they can't kill me here. Like, do a swim. Nice. We have one down. We have one down. We have done. We can beat him. He's a baby. I got an idea. Watch this. Break this first one. Come on. Oh, wait, what? Oh, there's one below me. I didn't even see him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're in trouble here. We're in trouble here. Oh. Nice. We killed one. Actually, hold on. Watch this. Oh, no. Break this ore. Break this ore. We just need to break one more. Five. Yes. Now we can unlock our first ability, the Scaly Shredders, which is our Dragon Claw we have in our hand right now, which we can use to easily kill this guy. My Scaly Shredders are like having diamond tools in my inventory. So I'm not only doing the damage of a diamond sword when I whack him, but I can also mine blocks like a diamond pickaxe, steal this bed up here. So let's get out of this water cave before they come back. And now let's go find a place to build our first Skull 
Smoke Dragon Base. On days two to eight, I worked on finishing my first Dragon Base, and I figured I should keep it pretty simple at first, just so I could focus on getting stronger with my upgrades. Though, I did do something I've never done before, and that's I got enchanted gear in the first 10 days. Okay, so welcome your faces to the first Skulk Dragon Base. First things first, you probably just noticed I did a double jump up on this wall, and that's because with my enchanted gear, I have a custom enchantment called Double Jump on my Iron Boots. But enough of that, let me tell you about the base. Basically, I got my enchanting table right here, my mine shaft right down here, my chest and furnace area right here, and then a small farm right here. And this base pretty much has everything we're gonna need to survive until day 100, or at least for now. And now that we have a basic base, it's time to work on getting more hearts. And we can do that by becoming a sassy skull. Basically, that's the next tier skulk dragon, which can actually reach an extra block farther than our current one. And to unlock it, we just need two blocks of gold, 12 brown wool, and 16 ink sacks. So let's start by quickly getting 12 brown wool, which means we're first gonna grab some iron and make ourselves a pair of shears. And now let's just head over to this group of sheep over here, and let's give all these guys a little trip. And there we go, just like that, we have all the wool we need. And now we just need to get some brown dye, which we can make by getting some cocoa beans. And luckily, there's literally a jungle about 300 blocks this way, so let's just follow the river real quick. And now we're at the jungle. Now let's just quickly head inside of it and find some cocoa beans. And there we go, there's 15 cocoa beans. Now let's just turn these cocoa beans into brown dye, and let's combine that with our white wool to make a bunch of brown wool, which gives us our first quest complete on Sassy Skulk. And now we just need to go get two blocks of gold and a bunch of ink sacks. And the easiest way to get gold blocks is to actually just go to the nether. So let's head down into our mines and let's go grab some obsidian, which we can get right here because there's literally some at the bottom of this waterfall. Now let's just quickly block off the water. And now that that's blocked off, we can easily mine this obsidian with our claws. There we go, we now have 10 obsidian. Now let's just quickly make our way back up to the base and let's build ourselves the nether portal. So we'll just quickly break some blocks off in this wall and we're gonna put the nether portal right back here. Now let's just quickly make ourselves a flint and steel, light up the nether portal, and let's go get ourselves some easy gold, which we can do by simply going and looking for a bastion now that we're in the nether. But I don't see any bastions nearby, so let's get looking. So I searched for a bastion, but I just could not find one. I even bumped into four different nether fortresses, and while in the fourth one, I accidentally ran into the dragon hunters. <gasps> oh, oh, dragon hunters, look at them, they're right over there. Why are they in the nether already? I gotta hide their names are through the wall, yeah, they're right there. Go down this way, don't you dare come back, oh no. Oh no, oh no! I I see a dragon. I see a dragon. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there's one in front of me. Oh, God. Oh, we're really low on health. Go this way quick. Jump across. Oh, we're in a lot of trouble. I got an idea. I got an idea. Hold on. Go into the side of the wall. Start digging. Okay, here we go. Let them start digging after. Where's right it going? You. Oh, he's oh. in there. He's in there. One of them's burning this way. Oh, there might be lava this way. One's digging down. Ah. Yeah, surprise, baby dragon. Hello. Hello. Surprise. Oh, my God. Yes, yes, he fell in. Yes, we got him. Okay, we're still alive. But gosh, we only have five hearts. I have to be so careful. Oh, oh, we got him, yes! We have him trapped. Oh, he's done. Okay, there's one more right here. Let's see if we can get him here. Ready? Oh, he missed, he missed. Get back in, get back in, get back in. Oh, we got him, we got him. Yes! Oh, we killed him. Let's go. Okay, now that they're out of my way, let's get back to searching. On day 14, I still could not find a bastion. Though that would luckily end tomorrow. Okay, cool. I found a bastion. Now we just gotta go inside and look for two gold blocks. I wanna be careful getting down here. Let's check this chest real quick. Oh, right here. Nope, no gold blocks. Oh, we're after one. We're after one. I see a gold block right there. Okay, let's get that gold block. Another chest. Oh, it has a bunch of gold, but I need a gold block. There's other areas we can check. Let's go this way. There should be a chest right here as well. Yep, here's a double chest. Nice. It has a second gold block. Let's go. Okay, that's all the gold blocks we need. Now let's just work on getting out of this bastion real quick. And now that we're out, we can finally head on home. And now we just need to get 15 ink sacks, where then we can finally become a sassy skull. It's literally the last thing we need to do. And luckily, squid should be spawning somewhere over here in this water. Oh, yeah, there's a ton of them over here. Okay, let's start killing them. Get over here, squid. And there we go. We now have all the ink sacks we need. So now we can say goodbye to our little baby Skulk Dragon. And hello to this sassy Skull, who literally takes no fall damage at all. And has 15 total hearts of HP and an extra block of reach. So yeah, this was a massive upgrade and is going to make staying alive super easy. I really hope. But there's no guarantee, so we definitely got to keep upgrading. So let's just quickly go back down into the base. And now it's time to work on our last tier one upgrade, which is called Raw Mutton. Basically, if I just grab our iron from this chest and some wood and quickly make myself some sticks, I can make myself an iron sword, followed by an iron shovel. And now the first two quest items are already complete. So tomorrow we'll go grab 24 mutton and two leads. Okay, so first things first, we need a bunch of mutton. So let's just go find some sheep and start killing them off. <laughs> Okay, cool. And just like that, we have all 24 raw mutton we need, which means we literally just need to get two leads, which we can make with some string and a slime ball. So let's quickly head back to the base and get some easy string because literally right below our base, we have an abandoned mine shaft where with our iron sword, we can easily collect these cobwebs and turn them into string. And now we literally just need the two slime balls to finish the leads. So let's quickly go look for a swamp. Okay, it's finally nighttime at a swamp. So now we just have to wait for the slimes to start spawning. I can see one right through the trees over there. So let's head over there to that one real quick. 
And there we go, just like that, we have a bunch of slime balls. Which means if I put four string in a crafting table with this slime ball, we'll get our two leads. Meaning we can now unlock our raw mutton upgrade, which gives us a sheep in our hand that we can infinitely eat. And literally we eat this thing in half, as you can see. And now that we basically have an infinite food source, we are done with all tier one upgrades, which is great. Because now that we can work on tier two upgrades, we can get our flaming skulk breath. Because what is a dragon who can't breathe fire or have a breath attack? You know what I mean. Anyway, luckily unlocking this ability isn't too hard as we just have to activate a skulk shrieker three times, ignite 15 creepers with a flint and steel, and then just kill the dragon hunters three times with our claws. That should be easy enough. So let's start by looking for an ancient city where we can quickly activate three shriekers. Oh, it is an ancient city. Oh, we found one. Yes, let's go. Now let's just activate three shriekers. I literally see one down here. Hello. Activate that bad boy. Now let's activate this one. And last but not least, let's activate this one. There we go, we've officially activated three Skull Shriekers. So let's just carefully loot right here and over here. Let's just grab these. Okay, we set it off. Okay, nothing useful. Let's get out of here, bye. Cause that's gonna summon a ward. Yup. Okay, finally we're home. Hold on, I literally had a torch outside my base right there and it's gone. I think I just saw someone. I'm almost positive I just saw someone right there. You really got here? Right here? Oh, here, 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 here. Hold on, let's dig in this way. Let's see if we can get a sneak attack here. Let's dig in this way. <gasps> oh, I found, I knew it. Oh, oh. Wait, dude, he's on you, he's on you. He's on me, he's oh. on me, he's on me. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Oh, you're not getting away. Oh no. Oh, we got him. I knew there was a missing torch. Oh, hold on, they're trying to come up, they're trying to come up. Block them off, let's eat some food real quick. Now we can take them out, we can take them out, ready, watch. Oh, we're being shot from the other side. Oh, this way, this way, this way. Let's get this one. Oh, we got him. Oh God, oh ah. God, <laughs> help me. No! <laughs> nice, we got him. Dude! Oh, he's done, yes! And that's all three kills we needed with our scaly shredders, too! Okay, let's check the base. Hold on, is the base safe? Did our items live? Please tell me our stuff survived. <gasps> it's all there! Our whole base is still here! Which means, let's just quickly head down to the caves and use our flint and steel to ignite a bunch of creepers. And then let's move bases far away from this place, since clearly the dragon hunters found it. But first things first, down to the caves. Okay, here's a creeper. Let's just spam right-click him and see if this glitch still works. It still works! In past videos where I've had to ignite creepers, that same glitch worked. I can just spam right-click them with our flint and steel. Oh, I know my mod team's gonna be mad about this. They hate it when I break their mods like that. Okay, here we go, watch, ready? No, oh, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. Yes, let's go, that actually worked. And now we can unlock our Skulk Breath, our brand new breath ability that lets us burn anything in front of us. And having Skulk Breath makes us a real dragon now, because obviously we now have our breath ability, which means I can burn as many skeletons as I want. Anyway, now it's time to head back up to the base and move somewhere brand new, because this place just is not safe anymore. So the Dragon Hunter plan failed, but I still have to move bases because they now know where I live. So I simply built a new Skulk theme base far away from my first one. Okay, so welcome to our brand new Skulk Dragon base. It's pretty much the exact same as before, except a lot bigger, and we have a full auto smelting area and lava generators. But anyway, last time we were doing upgrades, we just finished getting our breath ability where I could shoot tons of fireballs and set everything on fire. And now that we have that, it's actually time to work on our next tier two ability, which is called echolocation. This is gonna let me see everything and everyone through walls. And the idea is that I'm not using my eyes, I'm actually using my dragon ears, since you know, Skulk Dragon can't, can't see. Now to actually get echolocation, we just need to find ourselves 32 glow berries, one recovery compass, and a goat horn. And I absolutely hate getting goat horns. Dealing with goats is the biggest pain in the butt. So let's go ahead and let's get the goat horn done with by quickly heading to a mountain and tricking a goat to walk into some stone. Okay, cool. We found some goats. So let's just quickly head down to this little cave right here and let's grab some stone with our silk touch pickaxe because all we have to do is make a goat run into some stone and it'll drop its horn. Now let's take our stone back up to the top. And now I've set up a little stone structure that will hopefully get the goats to ram me as they come up to the top here. I'm gonna stand completely still. Oh my God, they're all coming to the top here. Yes, what? Oh, okay, we made it back to the top and there is no goat horn here at all. Okay, never mind. we're gonna just try again. Yes, oh, I saw a horn drop. Yes, finally. We have a goat horn, which means to finish echo location, we just need 32 glow berries and a recovery compass. So let's head on back home and let's go work on getting some glow berries, which by the way are really cool and all. But I just realized something. Once we finish getting echo location, we'll officially be able to try and unlock Skulk Dragon, which means we'll finally be able to fly for real. Okay, so let's just quickly head down to the cave and go get some glow berries, which uh, it actually turns out there are none below my base at all. There is literally nothing down here but a giant gaping hole. So I guess we just got to keep going from cave to cave till we actually find some glow berries because there's got to be some somewhere. There we go. Glow berries. I found some. There's a ton of glow berries. Easy. 
And there we go. We easily got all the glow berries, which means the last thing we have to do to get echolocation is get a recovery compass. And it's one of these blue compass things you can craft by getting eight echo shards and a compass. And since we need echo shards, that means we're going back to an ancient city once again, because that's literally the only way to get echo shards, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we're back in the ancient city. Okay, I don't hear any wardens. We should be fine. Let's just start looking through the chest and see if we can find echo shards. Nope, definitely not. Oh, we still set off a shrieker. Dang it. Okay, I'm taking the other side, but still there's nothing in here. Oh, a god apple. And we, there we go. Three echo shards, finally. Nothing again. Oh, really? Come on. That's not fair. That's a warden, too. No way, another warden. I still haven't even gotten all the echo shards. Oh, we're going to have to summon another warden here, aren't we? Oh, God. Come on. Just give me some echo shards. Oh, thank goodness. We have three more in here. But we still need to get two more. That's still only six. Please, please have echo shards. No. Oh, but prod four on breaking three. Oh, thank goodness. Yes, that's all the echo shards we need. And there's literally so many wardens in here at this point. I've lost count. So we just need to get out of here quick. Oh, great. There's another warden. Okay, here's our cave out of here. But there's definitely a warden somewhere around here. I hear it. Oh, he's right there. Let's just get our blocks and let's go. Oh, he's coming towards me. Oh, he sees on me. We got to make this jump or we're dead. Please, please make the jump. Yes. Oh, we made it. Yes. Go, 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 go. Get out of here. Oh, my goodness. And with that, we are out of here. I am not coming back to this ancient city ever again. Oh, that was awful. So now we should combine our eight echo shards with our compass, and that's going to give us a recovery compass, which literally gives us the ability to unlock echolocation, our brand new ability that lets us see things through walls. Let me show you. If I activate it right now... You're gonna see I can see all these mobs through the walls in blue. And if they were purple, it would mean they were a player. But even cooler than all of that, you may notice I now have a golden compass called echolocation in my inventory. And if I right click this compass, it's gonna tell me where I can easily find coal. And if I shift left click this compass, you're gonna notice that I can select a bunch of different ores on screen. So as an example, if I switch to netherite real quick and then I head into the nether and then I right click the compass, it's gonna show me where the nearest netherite is, which is at 8887153. And the final coordinate was 87, so if we go straight up from here, we should reach some ancient debris. Boom, there it is, right there. Ancient debris. Now let's just break it, and ta-da, we found one. It really is just that easy. Okay, so now that we have echo location, we can now start working on our tier three upgrades. And this is where our Skulk Dragon starts to get really, really strong, because we get some crazy abilities, like the Skulk Bomber, and the ability to fly with Skulk Dragon, like I mentioned earlier. However, before we get the ability to fly, there's still one ability we need to get, which gives me a massive advantage. But right now, I have no abilities that let me explode things, so we're gonna get the Super Skulk Bomber. And luckily, unlocking this ability is simple. For the first quest, we just have to find a warp fungus and scare a hoglin with it. Then for the second quest, we just have to get mining fatigue. And for the third quest, we just need to kill five players with our flaming skulk breath. And by players, it, it means dragon hunter, because obviously that's the only players on the server. So let's start with the most fun quest, which is getting mining fatigue. Now you're probably wondering, uh, Rye Guy, why is getting mining fatigue fun? To be honest, it's not. It's not fun. But actually getting mining fatigue means we have to go find an underwater monument. And I do enjoy finding those things. So let's gather up the materials we need to get a map that'll show us where an underwater monument is. Start Starting by getting a bunch of sugar cane. Oh, look what I found. A desert temple. You've had him a little too big to actually raid this thing now. Nah, never mind. We're going to go for it anyway. Oh, there we go. Stopped ourselves just in time. Break that bad boy. Let's see what we got. A golden apple. Uh, some more gunpowder. Golden apple again. And of course, the 9 TNT. Anyway, where was I? I think I'm supposed to be getting sugar cane right now. So let's go back up and get some sugar cane. Okay, we officially got all the sugar cane we needed, and now we just need to grab some sand, which luckily is super easy to do with our claws. There we go, that'll definitely be enough sand. Now let's just go home. Let's throw on our other side music disc. And now we can start smelting all our sand and turning it into glass panes. And now that our sand is in the furnace, we just have to wait for it to finish smelting. And these hoppers are then gonna spit the glass into these barrels down below, like you can see here. And now we wait. Okay, so now let's grab all the glass out of the barrels down below. And we should get a decent bit of glass here, which we can then bring over to our crafting table and turn into a bunch of glass panes. And now that we have those, there's just a few other things we need to make. If we combine a bunch of our iron ingots together with some of our redstone, we can make ourselves two compasses. On top of that, we're also going to need some emeralds, which we can just grab these five from our chest, and that should be fine. Now we're pretty much good to go. All we need left is a cartography table, which we can easily make by taking four wood and simply sticking two paper on top. And now we have everything we need to actually get the monument map. So let's start heading over to a village. And now that we're in a village, we just need to find a villager without a job. So I'm just going to put this cartography table down right there, and I'm going to look to remove all the other jobs I could find in the city. You look, you can become a cartographer. I gave you, look, I put it right next to you. You can, you don't have a job. Oh, wait, but you are. You are interested, sir. Yes. Perfect. Now we can trade this cartographer all of our paper, and he's going to give us some more emeralds in return. 
Then he's gonna level up real quick. Where now we can trade him our glass panes for a bunch more emeralds. Where now he's gonna trade us an ocean explorer map, which is exactly what we need to get to an underwater monument. And now with this map in hand, we can easily tell we need to head southwest in this direction. So let's get moving and wait for this map to generate. Oh my God, look at this. I just found two drowned and they both have Nautilus shells. That's rare. Give me that Nautilus shell. Give me your Nautilus shell. Thank you. So let me know in the comments below, what are the odds of finding two Nautilus shells on a single spawn? Because I know that's gotta be rare. Anyway, enough with the drowned. Oh, we're actually kind of close. If we keep heading this way, it should actually be right in front of us. Oh my God, it's right there. Okay, well, we found the underwater monument. Now we just have to go get mining fatigue by swimming close to it, since I'm sure the Elder Guardian's gonna do that. Okay, here we go. Let's just be quick about this. Ready? Dive down. Please give me mining fatigue. Ow, ow. Okay, my plan's not working. They're not giving me mining fatigue for some reason. So I'm gonna try swimming into the monument and see if that changes anything. Drowning again. Yes, okay, we got mining fatigue. Yes, oh, I just started drowning too. Good timing. No, he got in my boat. Golden apple, golden apple, golden apple. Oh, you made me eat my god apple, you dumb guardians. Whatever, we got mining fatigue. Let's take this guardian and let's get out of here. You're coming with me. Oh, I can see the dragon hunters. Yo, they're somewhere up ahead. Like, I'm just out of their render distance, I think. Why are they even here? Wait, I actually need five kills with my breath. Let's actually go over there and try and get some kills. They're building a turtle farm. Let's get a few of the kills we need with the breath attack real quick and we can screw up their farm at the same time. Now they're smooching. Yeah, good job. Oh my god, there's a skull dragon. Get him, get him, get him. Burn this place. Okay, hold on. Get the boots on. Get the boots on. Get in the water. Oh, ow. I'm on a rope. Place down your dragon piercer. Okay, okay. I'm stuck in the water. So I, 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 I hit him with the dragon I piercer. He's him. hit. He's hit. Oh, he has me on a big crossbow rope. Oh, ow. That did a lot of damage, though. Destroy it. Destroy it. We broke the rope Ooh. that was on us. Ow. What? What is this, dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> We killed one of them. Good job. Okay. Ow! We're on fire again. Put ourselves out. Put ourselves out. There we go. Oh, they put another one up. Really? You're gonna attack me? I'm on your team. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Destroy this thing. Oh, that does five hearts. Hold on. I'm gonna get in the boat. 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 Get, get in the boat. Go, go, go. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Go, 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 go. Get away. You attacked him, Guardian. Attack them. We're out of here. We're not even dealing with these guys. We're just gonna go this way. And Guardian, you're still coming with me. Yeah, there's no escape for you. You're mine, and I'm naming you Gregory. Okay, well, that definitely didn't work because of those giant crossbow rope thingies. So let's just keep working on upgrades. Because the next thing we need to unlock our bomber is scaring a hoglin with a warped fungus. But before we go and do that, let's quickly go into our chest. Let's grab a name tag and now let's name this name tag Gregory because I promised I was gonna name this guy Gregory so your name is now Gregory and you will live in this glass box forever where you can't shoot me I like having a pet guardian this is way too fun anyway let's quickly go to the nether let's grab some warp fungus and let's go scare a hoglin okay so first things first let's quickly go find a warp fungus because that's gonna be the easiest part of this see I told you that was gonna be easy there's literally one right here but I'll just go find a hoglin that we can scare with this green and orange mushroom okay here's a hoglin right here so let's just go in this ow rude yeah get away back off yeah repel a hoglin using a war fungus. That's right. You're not getting near me, are you? Yeah, you better be scared. Anyway, now that we've repelled one of those guys, all we have to do is finish getting kills with our flaming skulk breath, which really didn't end great last time, seeing as the dragon hunters have giant crossbows. So to prevent that from happening again, let's quickly get a max level enchanting setup. Now, right now, if I were to throw lapis and an iron helmet here, you're going to see that we have a level three, a level 18, and a level 30, meaning we can already get max level enchantments. However, I only have 26 levels of XP right now, so let's quickly go grind for some more. Okay, so now if we go into our enchanter and take a diamond and chest plate. Let's enchant that with level 30 and get it protection 4, thorns 2, and unbreaking 3. So let's go ahead and let's put it on. And now our armor is fully decked out. Kind of. If we go into our chest and grab this ancient debris and grab these extra two ancient debris and this netherite scrap, then we bring it over to our blast furnace. We can smelt the three ancient debris and turn them into netherite scrap as well. And then once those are done, we can grab the netherite scrap from below and that gives us four netherite scrap. Now we simply grab some gold ingots and combine that with our netherite scrap to get ourselves a netherite ingot. And then we just combine that with our diamond chest plate. And that's going to give us our first bit of netherite armor with an enchanted netherite chest plate. Okay, now we won't die when we go take on the dragon hunter, I think. But there's really only one way to find out. So let's head off to their base and let's see what we can find. In fact, I just realized something. Using echolocation, I should be able to find their base super easily, no matter where they hit it. Wait, is it right here? Oh, they have a tower literally right next to me. Look, purple right there. I can see them. Um, guys, I'm glowing. Oh yeah. Wait, why are we glowing? We need five kills with our flame. Let's do this. We're going in. He tried to get me. Keep him back with the flame. Keep him back with the flame. Don't let him get away. Don't let him get away. Dude, I'm burning their whole base to the ground. Come on, keep burning. Keep burning. Keep burning. No, everything's burning. Hey. That's three kills. Dude. Oh, my God. That's four kills. One more. Let's just burn this guy. Stop burning our place. Nice. That's five kills. That's all the kills we needed. Eat some food. Keep him back. Keep him back. Keep him back. Nice, he's dead. Quickly unlock our new bomber ability. Okay, let's try this out. Let's try this skulk bomber out. Let's go to their base and let's try this. Oh my god, our place. There's still a dragon Dude, piercer up there. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh! Their whole base is toast. Destroy their bed. Oh my god. And they're taking damage from all these skulk blocks. Oh, they're dying to my skulk. Yes, you're dying to it. Goodbye. 
No! Well, uh, and just like that, this base is absolutely toast. I dropped one bomb, and this whole base went up in smithereens. And now everything is skulkified, which is perfect, because we finished our upgrade, and that is definitely gonna slow the dragon hunters down. Okay, everyone, it's finally that time. It is time to stop being a teen dragon, where we can only jump around and only kind of fly. No, no, no. It is now time to actually fly by becoming a full-grown skulk dragon by simply getting 30 emeralds, 30 cobwebs, and 10 enchanted books. And luckily, 10 enchanted books is super easy to get. So let's quickly go get that 10 leather by taking out a bunch of cows. So die. There we go. That's 10 leather. Now let's just go get 30 paper real fast. So let's just grab some more sugar cane. And that's all the sugar cane we need. Go ahead and make ourselves 10 books. Now let's go over to our enchanting table and let's start enchanting these books. Aqua affinity, projectile protection. And there we go, we now have 10 enchanted books, which means we finished our first quest in being able to fly. And now we just need 30 cobwebs and 30 emeralds. They can easily collect them using some shears. And there we go, that's all 30 cobwebs we need, which means we literally just have to go get some emeralds and we'll be done. So let's just go find a mountain where we can mine some emeralds real fast, like this mountain right here, where we can now just mine 20 emeralds real fast since we already have 10 at home. Okay, we officially have all 30 emeralds in hand, which means we can become a Skulk Dragon. Oh my god, I'm huge. This is crazy. But as I was saying, this is our brand new Skulk Dragon. He still has no eyeballs, but you're gonna see he looks really cool with giant wings. And of course, we can now fly, which is really important as a dragon. Have you ever seen a dragon that can't fly? I haven't. So anyway, let's go ahead, let's fly on home with our brand new flying dragon. This is just so much better. I don't have to walk over these hills. I can just fly. Oh my god, I love this. Hold up. Oh, Dragon hunters, they're literally right near my base. My base is literally on the other side of this river. Hold on, hold on. Let me get their attention. Nice, we got him. We broke his boat. Nice. Let's get him. You guys see anything <laughs> over here? Oh, the, the river. Oh, ends. my boat. Oh, what the? Oh, my God. Oh, he's hiding under the water. Come on, we got to kill him. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Yes, we killed one. I need help. Okay, let's just fly this way and let's trick them so they think my base is in this direction. Pretend we kill one and fly away. Our base is not near you, I promise. Goodbye. I'll see you guys later. You're not going to be able to catch me. Ain't no way. Anyway, that should throw them off the trail of our base for a sec. Let's just fly around the long way and we'll head back to our base in a second. Okay, well, the dragon hunters just got absolutely smoked. Though I can't tell if that's because I can now fly or because I literally can burn them to death. But either way, now that we can fly, we're gonna be really hard to catch, even with their giant rope crossbow thing. Which, by the way, it turns out those are called ballistas. I wouldn't have known that, but I'm guessing you guys in the comments would have yelled at me if I kept getting it wrong. So anyway, there's only one more tier three upgrade to go. And I'm not gonna lie, it's actually more broken than even my ability to fly. Because my last upgrade is called Serpent Stare, where basically anything I look at as a skulk dragon is gonna be frozen in place with fear. And to get that, we just need to get 32 fermented spider eyes, three night vision potions, and a spyglass. And being honest, the night vision potions are definitely easiest. So let's go into the nether portal and just grab all the potion making supplies we're gonna need. Which first on that list is definitely gonna be blaze rods and nether warts. So let's quickly fly over here to this nether fortress and let's grab those. Well, here's some blazes. I guess we'll start with the blazes. Let's kill these guys for their blaze rods. And obviously since I'm a dragon, I'm fireproof, so they can hit me all they want. Okay, that is eight total blaze rods. That is definitely enough. Now let's just go find some nether warts inside this fortress. There's gotta be some somewhere. Booyah. And now we have everything we need from the nether. So let's just go home and start finishing up the night vision potions. Because to finish those potions, we literally just need to get some golden carrots. Because as you can see, if you add a golden carrot to some awkward potions, you get the potions of night vision. So let's quickly head to a village and grab a carrot. So let's quickly head to a village and grab a carrot. With our first stop being this village, which I think should have a carrot. Actually, I see one right there. There's literally a carrot right here. Give me that. Oh, that's a potato. What? Okay, there we go. We got 15 carrots. That'll do. Now let's fly back home, turn our gold block into some gold ingots, and turn those into some gold nuggets, which we will then surround a carrot in to get a golden carrot. And let's add some of our blaze powder in for fuel. Now we simply put our nether warts in the top slot, and now we make ourselves some glass bottles. And now when we throw those inside of our brewing stand, these three water bottles are gonna turn into awkward potions. And now if we add our golden carrot, these will turn into night vision potions. And there we go. There's our three potions of night vision, which is the first quest complete on our serpent stair. And since it's still daytime outside, Let's take some time to actually make a spyglass, which just requires two copper and an amethyst shard, which I have 15 amethyst shards and a bunch of raw copper. So let's just take this raw copper over to this blast furnace and let's throw it in to smelt real quick. Now let's grab our two copper and let's make ourselves a spyglass. We got the spyglass, which literally just leaves getting 32 fermented spider eyes left, which means I have to grind 32 fermented spider eyes, which is gonna be kind of a pain in the butt. Cause if you don't know, fermented spider eyes are made with spider eyes, sugar, and a brown mushroom, meaning I need 32 brown mushrooms 32 spider eyes and 32 sugar. How much sugar cane am I gonna have to collect in this video? There we go, sugar cane. And now let's just get some brown mushrooms over in this dark forest over here. And there we go, we got 32 brown mushrooms, meaning all we need now is 32 spider eyes. And let's kill them.
Okay, perfect. And just like that, we have all 33 spider eyes that we're going to need. And now let's combine that 32 sugar with our 33 spider eyes and our 37 brown mushrooms. And that's going to give us 32 fermented spider eyes, which is the last thing we need to unlock serpent stare. But it's already nighttime, so I'll show you the ability tomorrow. Okay, so serpent stare. Okay, so serpent stare. You're going to notice it puts an eyeball in my inventory that looks like an ender eye. This eye is the first part of the ability that lets me teleport wherever I'm looking. So if I'm looking at that pig way out in the distance, I can right click and now I'm right next to the pig. And that brings us to our second part of the ability, which is you're going to notice when I stare at the pig, he starts to get a bunch of blue flames on his body like this. And you're going to notice he can't move or really do anything. And this ability happens to anything I look at. If I stare at you long enough, you're done. I told you this upgrade was super broken. And these last six upgrades get really crazy really fast. For now, let's work on getting our next tier four upgrade called Deep Cut. And basically to finish up this quest, there's three things I got to do. Number one, I have to kill a witch with an iron golem. Number two, I have to push 15 wither skeletons to their death. And number three, kill seven of the dragon hunters while using my super skulk bomber. And we've seen how this bomber works. So these quests should be easy as pie. Pie's not really easy to make, so I don't really understand why I said that. I can't make a pie, but I do like pie. Anyway, I gotta focus up because the deep cut ability we're working on is an attack that breaks straight through my opponent's armor. So it doesn't matter if they have full netherite, this ability's gonna hurt them. So let's actually start by getting a bunch of iron to make ourselves an iron golem. Okay, that should definitely be more than enough raw iron. So let's just get out of this cave real quick. And now let's just grab some pumpkins to finish up our iron golems. Here we go. So let's just grab these. Okay, and that should definitely be enough pumpkins. Now let's just go home and smelt all of our iron. Okay, now let's grab all of our iron and let's turn all of this iron into iron blocks. But since we have four iron blocks inside of our chest, that gets us 21. And then if I quickly make one more, we now have the ability to make ourselves a bunch of iron golems. Specifically, I think five. And now for the tricky part, actually getting an iron golem to kill a witch. And I'm thinking the easiest way to do that is to start a raid and get these iron golems in a village to fight off a witch when I see one. So let's quickly go fly around and look for a pillager tower, which shouldn't be too hard because I can fly. For all I know, this could take literal days. And it did take literal days. Because those pillager towers are actually kind of rare. But I would luckily bump into one on day 49. Let's go. We found a pillager tower. Hello. You can't move. Shoot your friend. Do it. You won't. Yeah, you did it. Now you're frozen and you're dead too. Anyway, we're here at this pillager tower because we need bad omen. So we got to kill one of these guys with a banner on his head. And now we have bad omen. Where now we just have to start a raid at a village. And there is technically a village like right over here. But I'm not going to lie. This area is super fun far away from my base. I'd rather do a raid near my base. So let's go to one of the villages near my base and go from there. Yeah, this is the village I want to do it in. So let's enter this village real quick. And now we just have to wait to find a witch in this raid. So let the raid begin. They're coming from over here. Aha, there they are. Get them. Freeze. Oh, I see them. They're coming from up here. I see a ravager too, but no witch. Where are all the witches? There should be a witch. There's two witches. Oh, here we go. You guys are staying right there. Let me get all these witches attention. Ready? Now watch this. Carve it. Yes. Okay, there's all these witches right here. I need this golem to come get. Come on, golem. Okay, let's make it do one quick. Ow. These guys are really doing a number on me. Ow. There we go. Please. Yes, that's one. Yes, he did it. Yes, there's one more golem. Get him. You know what? I'll get him. Okay, there we go. Now, the raid is technically still going on, but I finished my quest, so I'm going to leave, and sorry in advance, village. Good luck. Yeah, I'm sure they're totally fine. Okay, so the next quest requires us to go to the nether and push 15 wither skeletons to their death, and I really don't think this should be that difficult, to be honest, but let's go find out. Let's head over here to this nether fortress, and let's see how hard this is really going to be. Okay, there's a wither skeleton there, so let's just quickly kill this one. I'm going to, like, whack you off. Watch this. He's going to fall, and boom! That that's one wither skeleton pushed to their death. Now let's just go find more wither skeletons and push them off. Okay, you're not gonna believe what I just realized. I was struggling knocking these dudes down and making them die. Well, maybe not. They're just all jumping off now. Now watch this. If I just kill these four wither skeletons, this counts as them dying of fall damage just because they took fall damage. So all I have to do is make a wither skeleton take a little fall damage and then I can just kill it and it counts. Am I cheating in my own video again? Yes, yes I am. Do I care? No, not, not really. And there we go. 15 wither skeletons pushed her to death. Even though I didn't even do that, I just kind of killed a bunch. Okay, and we're home. Oh, he's here. He's, he's oh, here. Oh, my God. Shoot him. Shoot him. I got him. Oh, wait. I'm roped. Oh, God. Hunters are in my base. I got to dodge him. I got to dodge him. Hold on. Outside. Go outside. Go outside. Go outside. Oh, I'm stuck on the rope. Right. I can get them stuck. Hold on. Trap them all. If I look at them, they can't move. Oh, God. Okay. Eat some food. Eat some food. Eat some food. Oh, they're teleporting. Oh, God. I got to get off this rope. I got rid of two of them. Let me get rid of this one. I just got to destroy this one. Oh. 
Nice, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble, we're in trouble, we're in trouble. Break this, break this. Yes, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, let's go back in, let's go back in, let's see if we can save the base. Let's kill this one. He's stuck, he can't move. In fact, we'll just burn him. There we go. Where's the other one? Oh, I see him, I see him. He's behind the wall. Dodge that. Nice, we dodged TNT. No! Okay, he's blowing himself up. No! <laughs> oh, man. And he didn't even get my chests. Our stuff survived, yes. It looks like they took some stuff out of my chest, but not a lot. Okay, well, since our base has been found, we definitely gotta move. But luckily, they didn't destroy my chests. So let's grab all our stuff and let's get out of here. So it appears the dragon hunters are are getting a lot stronger. Those giant crossbows are insanely powerful, so I have to be careful of those in the future, especially because they can trap me with their ropes. Either way, I moved bases over 5,000 blocks away this time to make sure I would never have to change bases again. Okay, welcome to my brand new dragon skull dragon. Welcome to my new skull dragon base. I don't know why I struggled to say that, but anyway, yeah, this is the brand new base. It's basically exactly what we had before, but much more compact, and uh, you know, the only way to get up here is if you can fly. And then down below, we obviously have another portal and lava generator so this base overall is pretty simple but simple is all i need because obviously with what's happened to our last two bases i'm not about to risk losing another but anyway now it's time to go get a little bit of revenge because as i said before i already found the dragon hunter's base so let's just head to their base and get the seven kills we need with the super skulk bomber to unlock our new deep cut ability and trust me we need that ability because their armor is only gonna get stronger and stronger and i need something that's gonna bypass it okay their base is literally on this island up here this is it i think it's in that ravine right there when we go in we're gonna be really quick about this ready we're gonna use echo location the second we get up here let's see where they're at i don't see them oh there is another ravine there's another ravine right over here look at this i bet you it was this ravine oh i see a nameplate oh one sees me he's literally up top i didn't even see him we gotta get him oh my god we barely missed this guy i gotta get rid of their giant crossbow things okay that one's gone get rid of this one nice we got rid of it oh god i'm burning no and he's burned to death get rid of this one now okay now we just need to get kills with the bomber ability bye <laughs> Oh my gosh, that destroyed him. Okay, let's bomb this guy. Ready? <laughs> this ability has a cooldown. I can't just bomb like I want to. Oh, he's running. He's running. Oh, but it's not enough. A little bit above you. Oh, gosh. Okay, that's six of the kills. Wait, did I kill all of them with that? Oh my God, this is broken. That killed all three of them. I just need one more kill with this. Oh, he got me. And it only did half a heart. They're gonna need some stronger gear to take me out. You stay still. You're staying right there so I can bomb you. And there we go. Now he's dead. And somehow you live. Oh, their bedroom's right over here. Hold on. Go away. Their beds are definitely gone. How about you stay still for a sec? Hey, friend. I'm gonna burn you to death. <laughs> you can't do anything. There's only one more. Oh, there he is. And now you're burning. He's done. He's done. Yes. And they are all dead. And their base is absolutely toast. I mean, look at this thing. There's almost nothing left of this base at all. Well, my job here is done because now we can unlock the new deep cut ability, which basically attacks everyone around me with my wings like this. And it does a ton of damage through people's armor. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Let's fly on home because we still have a few upgrades left to unlock. Before where we become the god of the skull. Pretty much the strongest dragon you're ever gonna see. Okay, so now that that's done with, we still have five upgrades to go. And I'm not gonna lie. I think if our skull dragon could just fly a little bit faster, I'd be able to get a lot stronger. I mean, I fly so slow that I'm pretty sure I'm slower than someone running. So let's fix that by becoming the king of the skull. Don't you do- Ow! You jerk. We are supposed to be friends, Gregory. Anyway, to become king of the skull, I just need five god apples, one netherite axe, and 16 redstone lamps. And god apples are easiest found in the deep dark. The area where where a skulk dragon is from, which should give us better loot inside of an ancient city. So let's go look for a brand new one, since the one we've already been to is looted. And so for the next few days, I went looking for an ancient city, because unfortunately, my echolocation ability doesn't make it easy to find them, since they're so deep underground. Okay, Booyah, we found an ancient city. This is definitely one. Perfect. Home sweet home. We're back at an ancient city. So let's start looting some chests, and let's hopefully get a bunch of god apples. Starting with you. Uh, yeah, nope, no god apples. Nope, nothing in this one. I will say one nice thing about being a full skulk dragon, the darkness doesn't doesn't affect me anymore. So I can open as many chests as I want. Oh, yes. There we go. Three golden apples. Let's go. We just need to find two more. Nope. This chest has nothing. This chest also has nothing. And now a warden spawning. Great. Well, I can keep him there if I just look at him. Please have a golden apple. Dang it. What about you? I don't even care if you summon a warden at this point. Yes. Okay. Finally, we found another one. We found another one. We literally just need one more. <gasps> Let's go. We get the last one. We can get out of this ancient city. Thank goodness. With those five enchanted golden apples found, now we just need a netherite axe and some redstone lights. So now let's go to the nether and let's go get a netherite axe. Then Normally this would be pretty difficult, but we luckily have echolocation where I can easily scan for netherite using our golden compass. So it's telling me there's some at negative 235, which is right here. And so from here, we're just going to go straight up. Boom, and just like that, some easy ancient debris. So now let's just quickly go get three more. 
Okay, there we go. We officially have four ancient debris. And so now if we just grab three diamonds from our chest. We can quickly make ourselves a diamond axe. And now let's go over to our auto smelters. And now let's quickly throw in our ancient debris and get it smelted. And while we wait for that to finish, let's just grab some of our gold. And now let's go over to our smelter and let's grab our netherite scraps. And we combine together with our gold, we obviously get a netherite ingot, which we can combine with our diamond axe inside of a smithing table to get the netherite axe, which is the second item we needed for King of the Skulk. And now we just need 16 redstone lamps. And it's still daytime. So uh, let's go get it. Don't you do it. Dang it, stupid guardian, you're gonna hurt yourself. Anyway, where was I? And to make a redstone lamp, we just need four redstone and one glowstone, which means we need a stack of redstone and a stack of glowstone dust. So let's just build a quick platform right here. And let's mine all this glowstone up. And now let's take all that glowstone dust and let's turn it into glowstone blocks. And now if we just quickly go back to our nether portal, let's grab a stack of our redstone. And when we combine that with our glowstone blocks, we get our redstone lamps, which is officially everything we need to become the king of the skull. But the sun's setting, so the lighting's bad. So we'll do the upgrade tomorrow morning, which now it's morning. So let's do the upgrade and become king of the skull. Oh, I'm huge. I was not expecting me to be this big. I'm absolutely massive. Hold on. Well, now that we have this big beefy guy unlocked, let me quickly tell you a little bit more about him. So first things first, he obviously has 40 total hearts of HP which is always nice to have. But the main reason I like this guy is he flies way faster than our last Skulk Dragon. So now hitting us midair is gonna be super difficult. But funnily enough, there's still one more thing that got stronger about our Skulk Dragon. And that's that I have increased block reach again. So normally I'd only be able to break out to this block or maybe this block. But right now I can break all the way out to this grass, which is way more OP than you realize. And now that our Skulk Dragon is absolutely massive, let's work on our last tier four upgrade called Dragon Spell. Basically this upgrade is gonna put a bunch of floating shields shields around the dragon so we can't be hurt. It's kind of like the atomic shield from our Godzilla video, but obviously I'm a giant dragon now, so it's a little different. But anyway, how do we actually unlock dragon spell? Well, according to this tiny text box, I need a frog light, a rabbit's foot, and eight honey bottles. So let's start by getting honey bottles because they're actually going to be really easy to get because I can simply fly over a forest and use my echolocation ability to see all the mobs in the area. And you'll see right here, I can actually see some bees flying around like right there. So I know there has to be a nest nearby. And if we just click their nest with a glass bottle, we get a honey bottle. Now let's run before the bees get mad at me. And now let's just go grab some more honey. Okay, I officially have eight bottles of honey and they're so small, you can't even see me throwing them, barely. But anyway, you can see with my hand now, that's all eight bottles we need. And now we just need to get a frog light and a rabbit's foot. So tomorrow we'll head to a desert and start taking on some rabbits. Rest in peace, rabbits. Okay, we're here, so let's just start killing these rabbits, which luckily are super easy to kill because I can freeze them just by looking at them. Sorry, rabbit. Well, that didn't give me a rabbit's foot first try like I was hoping. So let's start killing rabbits till we get one. Okay, we did it. And there's still a temple here I haven't looted. So let's quickly loot that. Take this golden apple, all this iron, another golden apple, two more golden apples. And there we go, we looted the temple. Wait, no, we didn't, I forgot the TNT. And now I'm out of here. And now it's time to get the last item, which is a frog light, which if you don't know, is a pain to get. Cause we need to get a frog to hop into a nether portal and then eat a magma cube on the other side. And the easiest way to do that is literally to just get a bunch of obsidian and build a nether portal in a swamp. So let's just start by quickly getting some obsidian real fast. Okay, we got 16 obsidian, that should be enough. So now let's get going back to that mangrove swamp we just saw right by the desert. Okay, perfect, here's the mangrove swamp right here in front of us. So now let's just look around and see if we can find some frogs inside of there. Boom, I saw one. Hey there, little guy, you're not going anywhere. In fact, I'm gonna go in this clearing real quick and start building another portal. And now let's just light this nether portal up. And now we just gotta get a frog to hop inside, which shouldn't be too hard because I can freeze him and then push him. So as an example, I can freeze him here, break all the blocks around him, push him a bunch while he's stuck like this, and then he'll just push out of the way. And then boom, we're slowly getting him there. He's in, he's in. Now go through the nether portal. Okay, and he's gone. Yes, let's go through. Let's go through. Get ready to trap this guy. Get ready to trap this guy. We got the frog trapped in this wood right here. And there's a tiny magma slime right there. No way. That's literally perfect. This is the exact size I need to. Come here, little guy. Come here, little guy. I want you to come here. Oh, this is perfect. He's going for it. He's going for it. He's going for it. Yes! We got the frog light, which is everything we need to get dragon spell. Thank you, little buddy. There we go. You can live down there forever, froggy. And now we can go back through the nether portal. And now we can finally go home where I can actually show off dragon spell. Our brand new ability that does this. I get five skulk shields that float around me and protect me from any incoming damage. In fact, these things will protect me from 100 total damage before they break, meaning the dragon hunters are gonna have to throw everything in their power at me if they wanna even stand a chance. And by the way, this is still a tier four upgrade. We still have three tier five upgrades to go, which are even better than the shield. In fact, that's literally what we're gonna be working on next because we can either become a god of the skulk, unlock our skulk dragon laser, which I'm guessing is like a warden blast mixed with my dragon breath, and then finally frenzied rampage. But I'm 
I'm not gonna lie. You know I have to get that dragon laser. But to actually unlock it, we need to go kill the ender dragon. As it says, damage the ender dragon using some end crystals. But there's only one problem with this quest. If you look very carefully at the quest line, it says we have to kill three players in the end. Meaning when I'm going to the end, I basically have to give away my location and wait for them to show up. We gotta start by actually finding the end anyway. So let's quickly go through our nether portal and go get some blaze rods as that's the first thing we need. And luckily there's literally a nether fortress right down here. So getting blaze rods should be really, really fast and easy. Okay, we officially have eight blaze rods. Now we just need to go ahead to a bastion and steal a bunch of gold blocks and trade for some ender pearls. Or that's what I would normally do. Since, you know, that's normally how I go about getting ender pearls. But I actually want to try something new. As I think killing endermen in the nether would actually be faster. So let's just quickly find a twisted forest. Okay, here we go. There's one literally right here. So now let's just look for some endermen through this twisted forest and start killing them for their ender pearls. <laughs> Okay, that method was really, really slow. It took two days of killing Endermen just to get the Ender Pearls I needed, but we got them. And I guess that's really all that matters. Okay, cool. We officially have all the Ender Pearls we need. In fact, we actually have a few extra as well. So now let's get going to the end portal. Let's throw off the first eye which is going this way. So let's just keep flying in this direction until we find this thing. Oh, it's right here. The eye just went backwards. Yeah, it's going back. It's literally right down here somewhere. Okay, right here's the spot we want to start digging down. In fact, while I'm digging this hole, let's quickly give our coordinates to the dragon hunters in chat because we need to kill them in the end. So we're going to tell them X negative 1424, Y 68, and Z 112 17. Now I'm going to type, I'm going to kill the end dragon. Good luck getting here before I finish. Okay, with that message, let's just quickly go down the hole and keep digging. We need to actually get to this thing quick. I'm digging and he just typed back looks like there'll be two dead dragons today oh we hit stone brick we're here now we just gotta find the portal room there it is there it is there it is let's put all the eyes of ender in and we're in the end now we just need to quickly start getting these quests done because we have a bunch of end quests to do including damaging the dragon with one of his own healy crystals which we're gonna try and do in a sec here yes we got him with it and there we go we already did the first quest which was damaging the ender dragon using an end crystal and now that we're in the end we still need to take out 15 shulker bullets kill three players while in the end and get a bunch of pop chorus fruit and elytra so there's a bunch of stuff we gotta do so for now let's just take out the rest of these end crystals and the dragon and there we go now let's fight this guy Okay, cool. He's finally at the middle. Let's bomb him now. Let's use our bombers and let's start bombing this guy. Drop our bomb. There we go. Boom! We one-shot the Ender Dragon! Let's just quickly get this torch. Now let's grab all the XP that's around here. Now let's right-click the egg. There it is. It fell right here. Now we just need to dig it out. We just need to dig it out. I lost the egg. I accidentally right-clicked it and I lost it. Where did it go? Oh, it's over here now. Wait, the Dragon Hunters are here. I need to kill three of them here. And I also have to keep them away from this Dragon Egg. Okay, let's do this. Oh, we killed him. Nice. We got him in the air. Let's freeze him and let the Enderman kill him. Oh, he's gonna die. He's gonna die to the Enderman. Nice. Come on. Yes, kill him, Enderman. Kill him. He's trying to kill the Enderman. Yes. Oh, you're done. Oh, we did it. Wait, what? That's it. You're done. Get bombed. No! Oh, my God. Okay, now let's get this dragon egg. Wait, they're back. Hold on. Never mind. They're not back. Oh, my God. Here it is. Okay, let's just dig underneath it now. Let's put a torch right there. Break it. That dragon egg is ours. Yes, there it is. It's on the ground. Come on. Okay, we officially have the dragon egg. And even though I got all three kills I needed in the end, you're going to notice that for some reason, the quest didn't count them all. And I only have two. And that's what I get for cheesing all the other abilities. I'm just going to hope that the dragon hunters come get me while I'm headed to the outer end. Because I don't have time to waste and wait for them to come back. So for now, let's just get looking. And so let's just start by grabbing a bunch of these chorus fruit. Since to become a god of the skulk, we need a bunch of chorus fruit anyway. So let's just start by getting those. And then we'll grab the rest of the the stuff in the end. Now that I was in the outer end, things were about to get interesting because there was a ton of stuff I needed here. Obviously, I had to find an end city with a ship to get Elytra, but while looking for that, I was able to gather all of the chorus fruit and shulker shells I needed. I also punched a bunch of shulker bullets since, you know, that, that was a quest too. But anyway, after I finished doing all of that stuff, I then found an end city with Elytra. Oh, here we go. We found an end city and it has Elytra. Let's go. That took way too long looking for that. Now let's dig down here real quick. And there we go. Now we can get the Elytra. And now let's just grab the dragon head because we can. And so with that, we are free to get out of here, finally. So let's just quickly go back to our portal and, uh, they're back. Sure is a good thing we got these paragliders, fellas. Yeah, let's- Oh my god, a dragon's here! Actually, wait, I need them to be back. That's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. I still need to kill them in the end. Oh, I almost forgot about that. Let's do it. Let's fight. I'm down to fight, you guys. Can I just bomb you? What? He lived that. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. How'd you not die no. to that? Okay, there we go. He's dead. We got all the kills we need in the end. And you know what? I'm just going to leave you guys here. Hey, let me just, uh, you're stuck. Let me kill you real quick. You go away. There we go. We got him. And now there's only one more to go, which is you. You have been so rude to me this whole time. So you know what you get? You get the bomb. 
And with that, we can now get out of here. Okay, now that we're officially done in the end, there's only a few things really left that we got to do. Obviously, we have to do the two quests you see on screen about killing players in the nether in the overworld. But I'll just do that next time I attack their base. We can also get 16 gilded blackstone to finish up Frenzied Rampage. Or we can become the god of the skulk simply by getting three totems of undying. So let's get some totems of undying because they're actually fun to get. So let's start by throwing half of our chorus fruit into our furnaces so that way they turn into popped chorus fruit. So while those smelt real quick, let's work on finding a woodland mansion where we can easily get some totems of undying. Dying. So let's start by getting a bunch of sugar cane. Okay, there we go. We got all the sugar cane we need. Oh my God, I'm so big. You can't even tell what I'm doing. There's the sugar cane. Okay, there you go. Now that you've seen it, we just need to get a bunch of sand, which, uh, yeah, I'm gonna just dig that right here. Okay, that should definitely be enough sand. So now we can go ahead and get out of here and head on home. Or that's what I would say, but there's a desert temple right here. Okay, the loot in here is kind of lame. There's really not that much in here. That's really worth time. Oh, mending book. Never mind. Whatever. Let's just grab the TNT underneath. And let's get the heck out of here. Okay, so now let's just turn our sugar cane into paper. And now let's just quickly head to a village where we can trade for a woodland mansion map, which is the last thing we need to do to get those totems. So let's start by finding a villager without a job and putting down a cartography table so hopefully he takes it. And now we can trade this guy all of our paper for emeralds. I, I think I forgot some of my sugar cane, actually. Hold up. Oh, I left it in here. Here's, here's all my sugar cane. Okay, let's just turn that into paper and then go back to the village real quick. And actually, while we're at it, let's turn the glass into glass panes. Okay, where were we? Let's trade this guy the rest of our paper for some more emeralds. Now we can trade him all our glass panes for even more emeralds. And then finally, he's gonna trade us a woodland explorer map for a compass and some extra emeralds and now that we have that map we pretty much just have to head straight south to actually find it now i just have to turn and just fly straight in this direction till we reach the woodland mansion map it's literally gonna be that easy i bet you we're gonna be able to do this all in one day which would be crazy because i've never done a woodland mansion raid in a single day oh it's literally right here oh i just i just bumped into it i was just flying jamming into music and there it was we ran into it also if you can guess what song i was listening to in the comments down below i'll give you an amazon gift card because i really doubt anyone's gonna be able to guess it anyway we're here at the woodland mansion let's just break in and start getting some totems okay we're in there he is okay freeze him there we go we got him and a totem okay that's one totem now we literally just need two more okay we killed another one that's a second totem oh here he is there's a third vindicator right here there it is we got all three totems of undying we need let's get out of here we'll just break out this window real quick and now let's just fly on home and now that we're back at the base let's grab all our pop chorus fruit and let's officially become the god of the skull oh my look how big i am i'm literally huge and i have a giant blue flaming tail and in general i'm just absolutely massive right now like i i'm bigger than my base look like i can fly or this would be a pain to deal with this size but let me tell you a little bit more about god of the skull you see he not only has 60 hearts of hp but he actually flies double the speed of any of the other dragons in this video. He also gets increased block reach so I can reach blocks super far away. And surprisingly, best of all, we now have strength four. So we can one shot pretty much anyone or anything. And now that we're officially a tier five skulk dragon, we just need to get six kills to finish up the skulk dragon laser and 16 gilded blackstone to get frenzied rampage. And since we're making great time and I don't see any of the dragon hunters anywhere near or around my base, let's just quickly go to the nether and get the gilded blackstone done with. What? There was a creeper through my nether portal and it just blew it up on the other side. Wait, can I relight it with my flaming skull breath? Okay, thank goodness I can. If it wasn't for my skulk breath, I would have just been trapped in the nether. That would have been horrible. Anyway, let's go find some gilded blackstone. Okay, we found a bastion. Let me just kill these hoglins on top because they're in the way. And now let's go down to the bottom and start collecting all these gold blocks. Oh my God, this chest has five extra gold blocks. That is insane. Okay, there we go. That's all that gold, which is literally 21 gold blocks. And there's actually two more right out here we can get on this bridge. Okay, now that I'm done being distracted by the gold, let's actually look for the gilded blackstone we need, which is one literally right here. So all I have to do is break it, and now we have one gilded blackstone. And now there's a second one literally right here, so let's just block off the lava from it. Let's break that one as well. And that's two. Now let's just grab 14 more. And finally, we are out of here with 19 gilded blackstone in hand. And now we can unlock Frenzied Rampage, our brand new ability that puts us in rampage mode where we get this slight blue aura, and suddenly none of my abilities have cooldown. So if I want to spam my bombs, I can. Or if I want to spin my slash ability, I can do that too. And yeah, I'm pretty sure you get the idea. Rampage is a really cool ability. But anyway, now that we have that unlocked, let's just go look for the US's base because with unlimited power comes uh, definitely uh, something about unlimited responsibility, but I'm about to go blow up their base. You get the idea, let's just go find it. And so I went looking for the US base and it turns out it was actually underground, like super deep underground. Meaning the only way I'm getting there is by digging with bombs. Okay guys, I was just flying over this area and I see someone's nameplate down there. Look, so the reason I probably can't find their base is they're living underground but there's definitely someone down there okay their base must be underground here somewhere and luckily i have an easy way to get to them it's called digging i basically activate frenzy and now we just drop a million bombs yeah that should do okay there's a lot of water here we're gonna have to get around this water let's drop the bomb right here 
Oh, oh, I did. I found it. Their base is underground. Let's destroy all their big crossbows first thing. These things do so much damage. Let's kill this guy. Ow, dude. Okay, that's one kill in the overworld, which is one of our quests. There it is. Nether portal. I found their nether portal. Let's go in here. They're going to be trapped in this giant hole. Oh, my goodness. Let them come through. Nice. We got one. Two. Oh, gosh. Let's get this guy stuck. Three. We got all the nether kills. Go back through the portal. Now we just need three kills in the overworld. Let's just kill you. Nice. We got him. That's three. Oh, no. And now we can unlock our Skulk Dragon laser. Oh, I dropped it. Okay, let's try this laser on them and see how it does. What? What is that? Oh, my God. I couldn't even see. Oh, it's just like the Warden Blast. Let's get this guy ready. He's dead. Nice. And I can just keep activating it. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Because my Rampage, I can just spam this. Oh, my God. Look at this. Bomb. <laughs> Their whole base is blowing up in seconds. Where'd they all go? I think I just killed them all on accident. I mean, I guess it makes sense. There's no way you survive a bombing of a base that's this small. But hey, we unlocked our last ability, which is honestly super broken. I mean, look at this. Okay, enough of that ability. Let's go home. Okay, so now that that fight is done, we just have to survive until day 100. And then the Skulk Dragon will have officially won this challenge. But I'm also fairly confident that at some point in the next like 10 days, the Dragon Hunters are definitely gonna show up. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what they have in store for me. Because normally the Hunters have multiple weapons that we add into the game to give them a chance but i've only seen like two this video that crossbow they have in their hand and the giant crossbow they put on the ground meaning they definitely have more stuff that they haven't used and they're definitely saving those for an upcoming battle but i'm not gonna worry about that for now because all we have to do is survive in our base until day 100 and so for the next few days i simply put skulk all over the map using my skulk bombs doing that should make navigating to my base super difficult though i knew this was only gonna slow the dragon hunters down because on day 94 they got past my silly little trick and arrived at my base Oh, they're here. Look, look, look. I can see the dragon hunters in the distance. They're flying in. Get ready to shoot them out of the sky. I got one. Oh, you can't get near me. Okay, Gregory, you stay here. I got to go defend everybody. Oh, what's that? You can't move? Oh, wait, why can't... I can't fly. Wait, what? I can't fly. Oh, there we go. My flight's back. My flight's back. What was that? I think he might have taken away my flight. Wait, yeah, he did. I can't fly again. What is happening? They are somehow making it so I can't fly and I don't understand. I told you they had some crazy last ability. Hello. You're burning next. I can't fly again. Why he made it so I can't fly again? How do you do that? Where'd the other one go? He went up. He went up. He went up. Where's Gregory? Gregory! Get over here, Gregory! Bro, stay away from Gregory. Is this dude really going for Gregory? Where are the others? <gasps> no, you don't. No! No! Gregory! Gregory! No! No, I actually like Gregory. I'm actually kind of sad. I've been playing nice and not just spamming my OP abilities. They're all dead. You're absolutely done. Okay, he's dead. Nice, we blew two of them up. In fact, let's bomb through this whole village. That should kill them all. Boom, one's done. Two more to go. Nice, he's done. There's only one more left. There he is. I got him. And how do we kill you? The best way possible. That's what they get for killing Gregory. Now, it's only day 94, so they can definitely come back. So I guess for now, we'll just start rebuilding the base. We can't win, bro. You're too powerful. You fly everywhere. Your bombs just do so much damage. Are you quitting? Good. I'm glad because you guys killed Gregory, dude. I literally went all in because just because you killed Gregory, you deserve that. I'm not going to lie. That was your guardian was named? Yeah. If you're quitting, that means the Skulk Dragon wins, and I want to hear you say it. <sighs> Skulk Dragon wins. Yeah, that's right. The Skulk Dragon wins. Put RIP Gregory in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.